everybody, it's Chris, and today we're going to do a 3.1.4.1 install. It's actually a 3.1.4 install with the update. Uh, we're going to be using the GoTech because, as you can see here, yeah, my Fallout shirt, I have all the discs, and here's the Amiga OS uh, discs and all that stuff from Amiga on the Lake. But the uh, GoTex faster, and my DF1 drive is acting a little poopy. So what we're going to do is we're going to install in it 314 install. I have a fresh uh, 2 gig SD card and metal here. That's going to look offset. I don't have my overscan or anything set. You know what? I'm going to save this without the backdrop. Okay, so we're going to partition the hard drive using the built-in HD toolbox. And like I said, it is a uh, fresh transcend uh, 2 gig card. Sinteki. Okay. I'm just sticking with the defaults. Okay. Sinteki. Oh. Okay, so now we're going to partition the drive. And we're going to just do one big old partition here. And we're going to call this partition DH0. We're going to advanced options and uh, make sure it's bootable. That's fine. We're going to check off direct SCSI transfer, but I want to do a change on the file system. I don't want international mode, and I do want to update let me get my PC mouse out of the way. The uh, block size to like 2048. You can do 4096. That's fine. And we're going to say OK. Now I'm not going to mess with max transfer at this time. Alright, so now we're just fast file system. DH0, uh, we're on 4096 byte. Oops, oops. And here is our version 314. So, okay, save change to the drive, not change, exit. That's weird. For some reason, it's 50% used, and I have done nothing to it. Now... I'm not going to bore you with any preferences or anything, so I'm going to go into English. And we will fast forward through the install. One thing you do want to choose is uh, intermediate versus novice, because if you have a different model, and like me, you're running off of 3.1 ROM, you're going to want to choose Intermediate or Expert, so it will prompt you for the correct version of your Amiga for the modules disk. Alright, now here's where you want to choose your correct model, where it's going to ask me for the modules disk. Now, if you have the 314 ROM installed in your Amiga, I don't because I'm running the Vampire and I don't want to reflash it at this time, um, you won't be prompted for the modules disk. So now this is what you're going to see. Okay, I'm not going to reboot yet. All right. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to run the update. I had to partition this drive smaller, so I redid the install. About a gig a shot. Um, we're going to run the update. I did not put my library for the 040 on. Nothing. Just run the install. Now, what it tells you to do in the readme, uh, we're going to do partition drive, advanced options, a new checkbox labeled direct SCSI, enable it, repeat this procedure on all our partitions, at update, you should find a file list, choose update, the default click, if not, click on add new file system, and accept the default choices for the new file system, ensure that it says 4620, right? English. Okay, updating. So we can see it's doing the installer. Intuition V45 library, which I'm not worried about right now. CD file system, cross DOS, fast file system. That's the new one. Okay. CPZ, disk doctor. Set patch type audio device HD toolbox. So we got a new HD toolbox with 3141, and we got the fast file system. I'm not worried about all the other stuff. So, right now, okay, remove the disk, press proceed, press proceed. Now it's bitching about my CPU board. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, there's my library rebooting. I don't know why it just stalls on that and ruins itself. What do you do if you're floppy booting? I don't know. Okay. So now, take the backdrop off and I'm going to snapshot this. And one other pet peeve. Don't worry about it. I got to get that disk icon. All right, so we got DHODH1. Here's how you can tell you the new version, 3141. It says 2019 Hyperion Entertainment, right? Then if we go to the About, you'll see 2019 Copyright Hyperion Workbench version 45194. Okay. Refs, overscan, edit. Let's fix this here because that's a real pain in the butt. Okay, and screen mode, can we do laced test? Great, woo, it looks a little creepy. How will it, let's do it. Okay, it's a little bit better looking, just so I could see better. Okay, so now we're gonna run HD Toolbox. Now I remember I'm doing this on a VGA converter. So partition drive, choose DH0, advanced options, update, 4613. Update file system, okay. 4620, okay, 4620, okay. Repeat for other partitions. Add update. Update file system. Okay, 4620. All right. Now I'm not choosing this direct SCSI transfer. Maybe I'll do it for DH1. I don't know. I just don't trust it. We're going to say okay. We're going to save change the drive. See, this is going to destroy everything in DH1 because I chose that little button. We're just going to say continue, quit, and continue. Before when I did this, it erased my drive. All right, 2019. So let's do that again. Now I'm gonna check this direct whatever the hell off, right? Just like it said it would. So we're gonna partition drive, whoops. Partition drive, advanced options, DH0, 
check direct SCSI transfer, add update, update file system, L4620, OK, OK, save change to the drive. Continue, exit, continue. Yay! So this is 3.1.4.1 with the new fast file system. I don't have anything on here because I didn't put anything on here. It's just a raw build. So that's how you do fast file system updates for the 3.1.4.1. I will continue on this and customize it with the new layer library and the intuition library update even though this is on a 3.1 rom so for now that's all folks and thank you for watching as usual hope you learned something